Audi YouTubers, welcome to Do It Yourself and How To. This morning I will be talking about how I took out my back springs and replaced my shocks, also my steely bar bushing and end link. Safety is key. Before tackling your differential springs and shocks, make sure you have the vehicle on jacks. Prop the front wheel, both back and front. As you see, I have some extra precaution. I have the jack stands here and there and I also have some blocks on the center rail. Once that's done you will release your handbrakes put a jack underneath the differential take out your tires both left and right And the first step you have to do is take out this bracket, which it is a 12. You take out this bracket, that's the hand brakes. You take out the brake line, which is also a 12. You disconnect this one here which is also a 12 and you also disconnect that line once you've done that then you would go and take out your shocks Once you've done that, you take out your shops. Take out this bolt, which is a 17. Disconnect your sway bar link. Disconnect your sweep bar link here on either side and then you would drop the differential which is if you have a floor jack under the vehicle you will use it to bring down the differential. If you don't have a floor jack, you have an ordinary jack, which the ordinary jack would be kind of too tall, but you could set it here. Then once you release your cables, handbrake and brake cable, you release your shock, you release your sway bar, you drop your floor jack, you come here and you press down this side if it's the right hand or the left hand you tackle in first and you pull out your springs 
when you get the spring out you would clean the seating both the top and the bottom before you replace the spring match your springs to make sure it's the same with the other one then you put in the boot stop in the new spring and you push it in when pushing in you push from the top first and then the bottom you just rest your elbow on the wheel hub and you push in the bottom if that doesn't work although with the sway bar disconnected you would get more play if the sway bar is connected you would be restricted so just make sure to disconnect the sway bar here and on the other side so it will go down further once you place your spring in you do the same on the other side you place your jack underneath the differential before i continue if you disconnect the sway bar and you're not getting this to go down low enough you could place a jack here and there put a piece of wood to make the height and just use the jack so you'd get better leverage here once you've done that you place the spring in on bo both sides of the same procedure so you place the spring here then if you're changing your shocks you place your shocks in just remember the orientation of the bushings you took out you place your shock in the to get your shocks out you'd have to go in here you could either use one of these ratchet wrenches or you can use an ordinary ratchet if you have a freeze ratchet deep socket it would also fit in here it's the same thing on either sides the top of the spring is in a seat a hole like you would clean you would clean it before you place the spring in it because it would be filled with dirt once you get your springs your shock if you change in your sway bar in links you will do that also it depends on what you're doing if it's just the springs and shocks you tackle your spring and shocks but before you do that check your sway bar bushings and while you're at it do everything one time once you have your springs and shocks in you connect your sway bar back and then you just go through the procedure which you did at the beginning put these bolts back here and there the reason why you're taking out 
these bolts is to give you better leverage when dropping the differential you don't want to stretch your line that's your brake line you don't want to stretch it to cause it to kink or burst because your life is at stake here so just make sure you disconnect the top where this line connects to a T branching off this side and that side once you disconnect that make sure you disconnect down here and also the other side that would give you more leverage take out the handbrakes so you'd get more play in the differential when bringing it down all the things i used in this video i'll have it in the link below this cable here that's the uh, I forget how they call that the it's a sensor you don't have to disconnect it but keep an eye on it that when you drop everything it doesn't stretch if it do stretch it has a tab here you just open them and the wheel sensor you just open them and to release it if you like my short description on how I put my differential springs shocks and bushings for the sway bar please like comment hit the bell icon until the next one. Bye.